Well, hello, folks. Welcome back. Well, I guess you know what this reading's going to be about. Yep, I have had requests, uh, several requests, to do a reading on Justin Beaver about him and his situation. And, well, I don't know a whole lot about the situation. I know that uh, he's been going through a lot of uh, downfalls, um, kind of things that's happening in his life. And it kind of reminds me of kind of what happened to Britney Spears, and which happens to a lot of uh, stars, especially when they start out so young in their, you know, in their career. You know, they don't know how to, uh, they never get a, or they never had a childhood. So, you know, so anyway, I thought I would do a reading and I'm going to tell you folks, <laughs> this one, yeah, this one is something else. And I'm, I've added a new couple of items that, um, in here that I wanted to, uh, show you. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started to the board, shall we? Well, hello, hi spirits. Hope everybody, hope you all are doing good. <laughs> yeah, folks, uh, I'll tell you, this reading, and I was, I did put a uh, survey out, you know, asking whether you would want to see a reading, and uh, it it was kind of, for a while there, it was 50-50, but it, it got on up to a little higher actually where people really wanted to see some sort of reading and this is honestly this is the very uh, that I can think of as my first card reading of a big major star I mean he's a pop star so but here we go let's let's get going and uh, I'll kind of stop as we go and tell you a little bit of tidbit things about what's uh, going on on the board here so Okay, so, spirits, I need some spirits to come in, and I need bad spirits to go away, negative spirits to go away, good yeah, spirits definitely. please come in, spirits you can uh, communicate with these devices here, if you, uh, can communicate. Are you here? Yeah, that's the uh, reader, the uh, electronic uh, um, magnetic reader. It'll pick up energy and also the red thing at the top, the round circle thing that's got a looks. Oh, you can't really see the antenna. But you know what's crazy? I didn't even realize that Justin Bieber was 30 years old. Man, I'm getting old. I just I don't know. I didn't. I just couldn't imagine he was 30. So, ooh, we got some activity. We do. Are you here? Oh, yes, yep. you are. We got something. Okay, spirits, if you're here, I need. Uh, we need some information. I've had a request to um, do a reading on Justin Bieber, the pop star. Yep. He is 30 years old. Today's session is May zero one. 2024. <laughs> Communicating. You can communicate. Yes, you can. Seems like we have some spirits here. So, spirit, do I have a male or female? Or do I have a younger female or a younger male in my presence here? Let yeah, folks, I love doing this just to try and find out, you know, figure out what kind of spirit we may have here, you know? And uh, my good friend Marilyn, I've talked to about before on my videos. Um, yeah, she loves to try to bring in like the little spirits, the big spirits, any kind of spirit. But she says most of the time, there's usually like a child spirit that'll come floating in. They're like, they're like toddlers. They are just so curious about all the, you know, the flashy things and all. And that's how she believes or what she believes in. I gotta tell you, yeah, I'm believing it too. Let's see here. Oh, you're talking. 
Are you talking? Yep. You're talking. Definitely. Give me something, a one, something. two, three, or four. Four. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I must have the same Let's spirit see here. We have at, from. At, Who past. do we have? It's got to be. Look at there. Look here. We have a uh, little female, a young child female. We will put you yep. right here. I bet they, I bet they come rolling in wanting to see Justin Bieber. What do you think? <laughs> uh, that's the first thing I was thinking of. They, uh, this is a a child that knows something about Justin Bieber. Maybe was a fan. I mean, I know that sounds a little morbid, but wow, yeah. And I'm going to get you a name. So, and your name is going to be Bailey. Spirit. I always try to name the spirits. You always want to try to name a spirit that's in your uh, existence here, you know, in your, in your presence, you know, because it, they can relate to that. Um, uh, it's, at least that's what they seem. And Marilyn says, yeah, they can. Bailey. We're going to call you Bailey. Spirit Bailey. And uh, so, Spirit Bailey. Justin Beaver needs some help here. We need a fortune teller. And we have our fortune tellers here. And Spirit Bailey, if you could help us, if you could help us here, help me get a fortune teller that will help Justin Bieber. I need a one, two, three, or four. <laughs> Another four, so that'll be yep. right. Oh, right. Let's see who we have. Uh, Justin Bieber, your fortune teller today is going to be Annie Jones. She represents the hearts, and we will get back to her here in just a minute. Very good story there. Thank you, spirits. We need yep. to know something Definitely. about Justin Bieber's. Something that, um, something that he needs to be paying attention to. Folks, if you saw the last uh, video that I did... Uh, with Sebastian Rogers. Um, if you remember this part, check this out. This is really something. And this is the season cups here. You see there's uh, yellow for spring, green is for summer, uh, orange is for fall, and blue is for winter. If you can get me a one of the colored crystals here, let us know if you can get us a two or three, whatever season that he needs to pay attention to, to start off with. <laughs> oh, winter. Isn't that some folks? The last, the last exact, it, this is exactly the same as the last uh, video. I couldn't believe this. This is like, with a, I believe I have the same spirit, the little, maybe a female spirit, but this is crazy. Okay. So we'll put you there. You see that? Winner. Yep. And I tried to look to see if there was something that had something to do with uh, Justin Bieber um, about winter. And um, there was one thing that came up, something about winter clothing that people were talking about. But that's the thing about these readings, folks. When you do these, you want to try to just kind of, after you do the reading, you go back and, and try to research what come up, what comes up. So, And some interesting things comes up here in just a that little bit. Last time, and we had you last time, I think. <laughs> I believe so. so. Very good. Okay, spirits, now. <laughs> Let me tell you something real quick, too, too folks. <laughs> I had a comment uh, that somebody said, oh, the, the money, I, I was doing like the, um, the bag for the uh, ghost blocks, and it's got like a money symbol on the bag. And um, I had laid it down on the table, but it moved across the table um, because what I do when I edit this part that you're seeing, I kind of cut out the like the long parts of it that are just kind of boring, I think. And I, I just skip 
to the part that I that I think is most interesting. But for whatever reason, sometimes something will move out of place. So if you see that, it's either I moved it or maybe something else did. I don't know. We need a card here. We need a a card that's going to help you help Justin P Beaver understand what's going on. <laughs> you help us here. Can we got little we got little beeps. All right. Yep. That means How many cars? some kind of energy is in the presence card. here. Spirit. Five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we will look at this card. If it's now and I don't um, and I do reversals on the tarot card, the tarot spirit card is what I call them. Uh, the other cards, I don't do reversals, but uh, look at this. Reversed. What is it? Yep. Oh, gosh. This is yep. Six of Cups. This is crazy. Oh, this card come up. Um, let me get to the point so you can see it. Okay, folks, look at this. Um, I'm going to turn off my mic. Look at the... Um, the pitcher because Marilyn my, my my good psychic friend and by the way just so you know if you folks are just now watching this for the very first time and watching my program thank you so much for that but I am not a psychic okay I this I'm not a psychic or a medium I just love practicing this or studying it it's like a hobby but I do have a good friend by the name of Marilyn and she is wonderful she's a psychic she's 82 and boy but look, she always says, look at the art on the tarot cards. And this one is saying a lot. She is saying that this is a couple. This is this is a just, you know, a young couple. And she's thinking that that Justin is reflecting. This is reflecting on just Justin's young um his young side you know he's missing the young side because that was basically that was his part of his life you know and so she always says look at the art on you know like the the picture here and and i've seen videos of justin and you can kind of tell he re he's um he really loves his uh is it his wife and uh so but that's what this picture seems to be reflecting on but this card let me let me go ahead and play this so you can see what the card what this represents for justin bieber possibly in general context the six of cups tarot card can represent nostalgia childhood memories and focusing on the past when this card appears in a tarot spread you may be being influenced by past events Reminiscing about the past or thinking about someone from your past. The Six of Cups is also the minor arcana card of children, young people and youthfulness and can represent having children or taking care of or working with them. It can signify simplicity, playfulness, innocence, goodwill and sharing. It can also represent protection and family. If you have been going through a tough time, the Six of Cups may be telling to take the support available to you from family and close friends. When the Six of Cups appears in a tarot spread, it can also indicate that you are being childish or immature. If combined with certain supporting cards it can, in some cases, indicate childhood abuse. It can also signify homesickness for those that live abroad. Yeah, so, um, Marilyn Six. seems to think that Coast. this card is speaking a lot and you know i i just didn't i just realized this folks that um justin beaver's uh, his wife's name is hey is it yeah is Haley, and i did not know that i i, I was thinking it was another name uh, or i was thinking she had a different name but now we've got bailey on the table as a child uh spirit possibly but um yeah this 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 card folks i gotta tell you it is so crazy that this card came up because i'm just thinking that um you know if it's if it is picking up on something about justin beaver it's saying a lot about the little different 
information, you know, uh, like as far as the um, just all kind of little different stuff. And um, I'm trying to bring up my little information here so I can tell you a little bit more about that. But what do you think, folks? What do, what do you think about the, this card? I mean, it is it's saying a lot. It really is. So and this is the one thing that I would say, too, about this card is that. Um, I believe that because it says, you know, it talks about childhood, childhood memories, you know, innocence. Um, and, you know, and I think if this card has picked up on Justin, I believe it's talk, I believe it's trying to reflect on that, that he is his life is trying to reflect back to a time where he was having such a good time as an entertainer just starting out. Um, before he met all these crazy Hollywood people. And then once he did, so, uh, you know, the 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 C, CB, you know, I'm talking about the, the abuse that he has possibly endured. So I think this card is really saying a lot. I really do. So let me know in the comment what you think. That is an interesting card. So let's continue. Thank you, spirits, for that. Thank you, Bailey, Spirit Bailey, and all the other spirits that may be helping us here with Justin Bieber. So let's see here. Now, Annie Jones, like I said, she represents the hearts. Yeah, and this is um, Annie. And like I said, folks, if you've not seen any of the videos, please watch them. You will love the story of my four fortune tellers. They are amazing. They really are hearts. So we are going to just flip through the cards here. And spirits, can you help us with a card that, uh, a cardamency card that may help us understand Justin Beaver's situation from either the past, present, or future. I'm going to flip through and the first heart we come to. And folks, let me tell you uh, just real quick for the ones that are just joining. This is the card immensity cards. It's uh, like telling a fortune with poker cards. And boy, it does it. It's like right in your face kind of fortune teller. So it really it is, is something. Card. It picks up on a lot. Club. Another club. And we got spades here. And we got the diamonds. Oh, Lord, oh. here we go. There it yep. is, folks. Five whole oh, That's <laughs> crazy. I so folks, look at this. Check this out. This this is the the five of hearts. And of course the hearts, you know, they stand for love and um uh, it's it's just it's an interesting card that this came up because you look, you've got a female on the top and she doesn't have no clothes on. And then in the bottom of the, she's like in a pond or a river and she's looking at a reflection. And I'm just wondering if this card is picked up on Justin's reflection, you know, what he is reflecting back to or what it is he trying to visualize. So, yeah. And uh, let's see, let's, let me discuss some of that. So, okay, so you've got, this is the key word. So jealousy and being the fool. And what do you think? You think Justin is maybe being a fool or being fooled by, by people, you know, taking advantage of him uh, or has taken advantage of him in the past. And I've hear I've heard snippets of, you know, reports that he's he's had some crazy stuff happen to him. You know, as a young star, I mean, yeah, he's went down a road that some of the roads he probably shouldn't have maybe went down, you know. But this uh, card, it reflects on all kind of crazy stuff like, you know, ponds and rivers and stuff. But it's females, female photos, which, you know, everybody... That's crazy. Everybody wants a photo of Justin. Every time I've seen some kind of uh, YouTube video, it's a paparazzi out there trying to take photos of him. So, and so, and it also talks talks about 
the two evil personalities fighting what once was good. Folks, if you think about that, just that one sentence right there, um, fighting what once was good. You know, Justin Bieber, when he started out, he didn't, he didn't know all this stuff about Hollywood and uh, what the crazy comes along with it. And so the poor fella, he, well, you know, I mean, he has experienced some crazy ass stuff, so I'm sure. Now, another thing that this card represents, and I always tell people I don't know what it means, maybe somebody out here, and if Justin knows, or somebody if you know Justin, then maybe he knows what the state Oregon means, or the Amazon, so have no idea. So, but here is a description this is of the car. Behold the reflection of a hag in the water, and understand that this tempest is not what she seems. Many illusions, Falaya, will be cast upon the water of our emotions. It represents murky water or murky emotions. The five of hearts can mean jealousy, and the people that are around you that may be jealous, hesitating before making rash decision at this point of life. Be wary of negative reflections in the water. Yeah, see, that's that's what I'm saying right there. That is, I think that's what this card is trying to say. You know, that it's given a dire warning to Justin. If he doesn't, if he doesn't take control of his self and and get rid of some of his, you know, the the bad negative feelings and the hurtful things that is hurting him and start hanging around positive people. I think that's that's what this card is saying. And this is always one of my favorite parts of the cards here, the Carnimitsi cards. Each card, depending on your fortune teller, will always have a special message. And this one, it says, look into the mirror and decide what reflection you see. So what a strong message right there, folks. I just really like that. So that's a powerful message. <laughs> yep. uh, Justin Deere, you got the five of hearts here. We'll yep, talk that's about this crazy that came here. up on that. So, so spirits, we need, we need a guidance uh, character story. We need a story here. And this, folks, is uh, another new addition to my videos that I've added. Uh, and I've did this for quite a long time, and I love this. And I will do this like if I'm, if I have a friend that uh, wants some cards read, you know, I tell them, I, hey, I'm not a psychic, but there's some, there's some stuff going to come up, okay? And, um, and so I use this as a story that there's there's the spirits have a story for us somehow possibly and so this is this is justin's story and folks crazy stuff here crazy we stuff we have some cards here that hopefully will tell a story of justin beaver so give me a card here of some sort of activity something that we need to know this that uh knows our story, knows Justin Bieber's story and what he needs to be paying attention to in this story. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Very good. Let's get another one, another card, another story card. I hear you. You're communicating. Yep. I hear you. I hear you. Four, one, four is two, popular. Three and four. Okay, and we will look at them in just a moment. Get a character first. Let's see. Let's see what's now in this bag, folks. There's um, I forget how many. There's golly, there's what 30, 40 little cards in there. Okay, and this is the character bag. This. Um, when you pull one, it'll tell you, it'll give you a character that may be connected to your life from the past, present, or even to the future. Um, and so, but each side of these cards, there's something different, but I only show the one side, right? But it, 
there's so if there's 30 that means there'd be 60 characters and that's a lot for something to come up you know that may have something to do with your past or even the present or future but, so uh, justin beaver's character that he needs to pay attention to in his life we have a bunch of characters in here spirits can you help me pull out a character in here Ooh. Yeah, crazy, oh, crazy, okay. crazy. We got a mobile food vendor. Yep, folks, I got a show you, so you don't show you something. I can't talk. Um, so when this happens, I will try. I'll do this like on my phone or whatever if I'm with a friend, and I'll whatever comes up like this mobile food vendor. I don't know nothing about Justin Beaver and his past as far as what he has been in, encountered with or whatever. So I was looking on a website and I was I typed in Justin Beaver um, food truck, okay, or mobile food vendor. That's exactly what I put in, whatever's on the card. Look what came up. Look at this. It says Justin Beaver and James Cordain open yummy inspired food truck. This was 2020. What? in the world are you talking about seriously i'm like i was like i could not believe that so but wait do you see the next okay. one so <laughs> thank you baby and now wow. there's an event that's going to go with that can you help me with an event yeah and so the event is the same way it has the same type of cars but they're red and so whatever uh, the uh, character card is then the event card could have something to do with that card or it could just be some something totally random that means something to the person that it's uh, choosing for or chosen for so so Justin do you know anything about a food vendor maybe a food I'd, truck I'd say he does like that from the past. <laughs> that's crazy maybe present or there may be something in the future I don't know maybe the cards will tell us Maybe that has something to do with the the mobile food truck. Oh, yeah, and you know, and that could also be true too there that maybe this is a message for him of something in the future that he may need to be a, pay attention to. That's the way I always look at it too. You know, uh, it maybe it did pick up something that it's trying to say, hey, there's something here on the board that's trying to wake you up and say yes we're talking to you we know what happened to you in your past life uh or you know in your past life in your previous younger years or whatever but it can also maybe you know touch on things that could be coming up so we don't know interesting and a flashlight <laughs> and when i saw this i'm Justin, like do you know anything what, about a flash what the hell would this have to do with justin beaver well Ah, uh, let me show you this. So I, I did a, a research on this and bring this up. Look at this, folks. Justin Bieber has a new way of attracting girls with a torch. What is he doing there? Well, I don't want to subscribe, but look at that. Isn't that crazy? He's got a flashlight right there. And this is in, um, I think, what, 2013 or something? Well, I don't know if that is or not. I don't know. Maybe, but look at that so that's what i'm saying folks that's what i'm saying you just never know i found that i just happened to type in justin beaver and flashlight now i think there is a song out there that has something to do with this too with a flashlight i think that he had something to do with um but i can't play it because you know it'll it uh, uh, it has music and it'll strike but folks now if you know something else about a food truck that has something to do with Justin or a flashlight, let me know in the comments what you think. This is, okay. yeah, crazy, crazy. crazy. So let's see. The mobile food vendor flashlight may have something to do with your situation. You may know about this. Mm -hmm. And it is in progress now. See, now this is what's really gotten me stumped. I don't know what this means. Um, Marilyn says that she thinks that there's this whole situation about the reading 
uh, about the five of hearts and, you know, and the six of cups and all this, that it is reflecting on him right now. And you have, of course, you have an owl on this photo here. She said, always look at the photos. The photos will, whatever artist was doing at that time, there was a meaning for it. And, but something's going on maybe in Justin Bieber's life right now that's, you know, that's saying, hey, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. And you need to pay attention, but it's in progress right now. Look at that. Yeah, in progress. But this is part of his story. Make sure you the, can see that card, okay. With the uh, food so truck, whatever's happening, and the flashlight. Movement, it's, it's going on, but let's see what this says. And on a foggy day. On a fog, foggy day. I don't know, folks. Now, this this is interesting because Marilyn said what she thinks this is, is that his mind is foggy. That his mind is so cluttered with, like, just okay, so. different stuff going on in his life. He don't know what direction to go. Just like the Five of Hearts. He's in the center, supposedly, that she says. And she's and he and he's got all this love around him, um, that and he's fog, his mind is fogged up with certain things hap that's happened in his life. So this is part of his story. Whatever it means, it could be very well part of his story. So wow. very interesting. This is very interesting. Yep. So possibly have something to do with a food truck, maybe. Can you imagine going up to a food truck and seeing Justin Bieber <laughs> serving some whatever they were serving in that? Uh, that would be so cool because, you know, I mean, people like just some people will say, oh, I don't, I don't like Justin Bieber. I think everybody. Well, I think everybody. Most people like Justin Bieber. They um, and no, most people know Justin Bieber. Right. I mean, I don't know that you could go anywhere in the world uh, and people would not know him. But well, I guess there is there certain people Don't, that wouldn't know him, but still. A flashlight. <laughs> uh, it's in progress now. Yeah. And so, it could happen. Something, something's going on with this whole right here. Everything you see in right here, folks, something's going on with Justin Bieber, possibly. Within a foggy day. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, so I think it's time to go to the other table now and see if we can read the tea leaves of Justin Bieber. So let's go do that now. Okay, folks. <laughs> I want you to know this, the last video I did, I did tea leaf reading for the first time and boy, the comments, everybody saw something and I, I know what people are talking about. I seen something completely different and everybody saw different stuff, but this is the tea leaf reading. It's an old fortune telling um, art. And Marilyn got me into this a long time ago and I'm telling you this is such a wonderful way of, you know, just trying to see what you can see, a vision. So this is tea leaf reading for Justin Bieber. Okay, spirits. Again, this is for Justin Bieber. We'd like a little reading from the tea. And any, any bad, any bad negative spirits, please go away. Yeah, when you ring the bell... The bad, the, the negative spirits, they don't like that. That's what I've been told. Uh, and I've actually heard that from different psychics. And it doesn't, doesn't hurt to have a cross. Okay. Mr. Beaver. Let's see if we can read you some, get some information. Spirits. If you could please just give us some information about Justin Bieber that we can read in the tea leaves, maybe some kind of message that we need to, that he needs to pay attention to. If you could help us. Spirit. 
Secrets. This is my uh, personal pocket watch. And folks, um, so this is how this is, is done. Now, there's people that do it differently. Um, but this is the basic way of doing it. And uh, you should always try to have you a personal item so that the spirits can communicate to you, to the person that's working with the tea. And if you do have a personal item, they, um, you can ask the question and they will help you. Supposedly, the spirits will help you with what you're looking for. And this is what you do. Any information that you could give us that would help us or help Justin Bieber with something that's going on in his life that he needs to pay attention to. If you can give us a vision out of these tea leaves, that would be really good. Oh my goodness. Folks. Okay. Let me get this so you can kind of see it. I remember. This is what I'm... When I saw this, I first said, What the hell am I looking at here? But I'm seeing, to me, I'm seeing a lady um, right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse. I don't think you can. But um, a lady to the left on her knees. And she's got a ponytail. And then in front, it's like a younger person. And I don't know if the lady might represent maybe Justin's mom. Um, it could be. Or it could be um, Haley, you know, his wife. But this may be Justin that's in front of her and he's kind of bowing his head trying to pray trying to figure things out and he's he's got a, a comforting person there um but also the person in front i mean the, the little person right there that looks like justin to the right looks like he has something in his back maybe a knife that's what i was saying and then the lady looks like she's being pulled by her hair or something by other people or other things. So definitely study this, this teacup uh, reading and let me know what you see, folks. I'll tell you, this was crazy. This came up like this, this image. So the outer rim can be your future. Yep. Could the be. center can be what's present. Possibly. Uh, I see somebody somebody holding a looks like maybe holding a mic there. Yep. Crazy. Oh. That's I see that's him. right there is is what I'm thinking it could be Justin and that something sticking in the back could be a knife. Something, you know. Somebody may be trying to do something bad to him is what I'm thinking. I see a lady. Yeah. I see it. I see something. Some, some kind of maybe a fairy. A it's, guardian something. But something is definitely it's, pulling on her hair. If that's a female, some something's pulling on her hair. It's that's praying crazy. for you. Yep. It looks like that you have maybe an angel or some lady. Uh, maybe a female that looks like th this could be you, maybe. This is crazy. And it is praying for you. Let me know, folks, what you think. This is so interesting. I just don't know. There's Very so many things that could be going on in, in this photo or, in, you know, in this uh, reading. Wow. Yep. That was, um, that's interesting. Yeah, let me know, folks. Let Thank me you, know Spirit. what you Spirit. see. Thank you. There's somebody looking over you for sure, Justin. You need to pay attention to that. Yes, definitely. So, and again, let's get these bad spirits out of here. If there's any bad spirits, we yeah. need them all out. Yeah. Get out of here, bad spirits, bad spirits. Be gone. Let's do a report card. 
<laughs> Folks, this right here, um, I was, oh man, I've, I've did this uh, many, many times, <laughs> and I do it with my friends, and I thought, well, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to, I think, I think this would be good for Justin, and, uh, and what it is, it just breaks down like romance, finances, health, and spirit spirituality and then your overall well-being and it, i call it the spirit uh report card and it's i'm telling you folks it's interesting but wait do you see at the end of this this is crazy. an interesting thing here so spirits we have a report card for justin and for uh justin beaver let's see what uh, what between one or zero and nine how is his romance? So I got these numbers here so you can see here. Let's see what your score is here. Okay, so your <laughs> so your romance is a nine. Well, let's <laughs> just write that down. Not too bad there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, folks, wouldn't you wouldn't you figure his romance would be high up on the chart? I would think. I mean, um, Every time you see him on the streets or on the show, I mean, he's just being grabbed at of all the females and guys. I mean, it's it's, it's so I, I'm I'm okay with I, I mean this score. I think it it's pretty legit. So you got a nine there. Yep. Okay. If it came up zero, I would say I don't know. We might need to reshape the bag here, but I think the spirits here, folks. I don't know. You let me know, but I think the spirits are right on it. If there's spirits here, and I believe there is, yep, they're on top of this. Yeah, let's mix it up. What about finances? How is uh, spirits? Do we know anything about his finances? Mm. Something he needs to pay attention <laughs> to here? Yeah. Is it good? Is it low? Is the score low or high? What is his finances here? Okay, so his finances is a six. Okay. <laughs> Six. And I mean, I guess that's fair, right? Um, and you know, again, hell, it could be taking money. People that's, you know, over his money and watching his money could be, you know, uh, taking his money. But I guess six, is, it's okay. Right. It's high up there. So. All right. Can you move? Yeah. Okay. Health. How's his health? Now, the next one, yeah, the health. Yeah, Spirit that's the one I was wondering. What will come out of the bag? How is he doing? Yeah, four. It's not, not the yeah. best. So a four, but not too bad. But, but yeah, fours, fours not good, folks. What do you think? Yeah, between um, zero and nine, that's how the numbers are in the bag. Fours not the best. Okay, I would have, I would have wanted for myself. I'd have wanted maybe a seven, maybe an eight. Well, nine would have been great, but four, I don't know. Maybe it's picking up something. Now, again, this is, you know, this is entertainment, folks. So uh, we don't, I always tell folks when it comes to health and stuff like this, you know, don't, you, you take this with a grain of salt. This is, this is my, my opinion. Um, anytime, you know, like I tell my friends, I'll say, look, if you get, because I had one friend that had, that came up, it did come up zero and they got worried. And I said, low, no, 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 no. This is, this is just a, a entertainment way of looking at it. But if you feel like you're not well, if you don't feel like you're feeling good or like you should go to the damn doctor, you know, go to, well, not damn doctor, but you know, go to your doctor. Okay. And get checked out. Okay, don't don't leave it up to no cards or dice or somebody telling you a fortune teller. Uh, no, you go to a doctor if you don't feel well. Go to the doctor. But that is interesting that this came up as a four though. Okay. And spirituality. How's his spirituality? Is his, is he uh, is he believing in a lot of things? Is his is his spirituality need some work, or is it okay? How's it? Does the spirituality need some work? Yeah. <laughs> it started beeping okay. well, when I'm asking that question. There. And then we got four. Mm. So, that's so there you go, folks. There's another one that's like, I would have wanted my spirituality to be up there. But I mean, maybe he's fighting 
I mean, well, we don't know if this is really sensing what's going on with Justin, but if it is, if it was to, hmm, spirituality might be something he needs to work on a little bit more to, to make him go in a right direction. Whatever spirituality that he chooses, you know, that's what I'm all about. Whatever makes you do the right thing, go for it. So it's probably needs some work, I would say, if that's if that's what our spirits are trying to say. And overall well being. How are you doing? Zero and nine spirits. Can you get me a number that would tell us something about his well being? Okay. Well, look at there. Mm. He's got a he's got a nine. So his well-being seems to be that's a, not yeah, too bad, right? But, that but spot. <laughs> I mean that that's better Nine. than okay. you know four. How about that? But thirty-two. Is yeah, that right. So, so what I do that's is I add all of them up, and because what what the area is, um, all the there's fifty. Let's see, there's fifty chips chips in there. I think yeah, something like that in the bag. And um, the score is 50, so it's always 50. So the closer you get to 50, the better you are. Or at least that's what I'm, you know, one of my cards. So. But, <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, I don't know, 32. But I want you to see something. I was, I, I typed in Justin Beaver and 32. And this is what I found. This is very interesting here and i didn't know this about him but justin beaver was a um let me go back to this here i don't know there he actually was a, this guy right here roommate uh, chris king um a rapper he was um he was a um roommate they were roommates and this uh chris king died at 32 is that crazy or what folks i mean that's like, wow, I couldn't believe that. I mean, it's what's what I'm saying, folks. It's the little things that just come up on the board that makes you go, wow, that's crazy. So, two. Two. Uh, yep. or out of 50, 32 is your score. Yeah, so, so kind of low there, right. Justin. Spirits, thank you so much. But, like I said, yeah, that, uh, that definitely means something to 32. Now, there might be something else that 32 may mean. So I know that Justin is 30 now, um, but I don't know if 32, something else, he may know, he may know, you know, I don't know. This. this is an interesting read, so, yep. yeah, the six of cups and the five, yeah. Well, Justin Beaver, if you're watching this, I hope that you uh, get something out of this. Uh, remember? Something about a food truck and a flashlight. Uh, something that may be in progress. progress and on a, your Arguably. score is 32 out of 50. Mm. So I'd say there's some stuff that needs to be worked on here. That's, at least that's what the spirits are trying to tell us, maybe. Yeah, possibly. All right. Spirits, thank you. You're welcome to uh, exit this session. Thank you so much for your help. And... All spirits, I will request your presence again. Thank you. And thank you, Bailey. Yep. Well, folks, what do you think? I mean, I, I'm just going to tell you that is some crazy reading right there. It really is because, I mean, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know, folks. I, I, You know, if any of you all know, Justin Bieber, if you happen to be watching this video and you know Justin personally or you have some kind of contact with him or something, I'm not asking to meet Justin Bieber. I'm not doing this for that. Um, it, I mean, it would be cool, right? Everybody would like to meet a star, you know. But if you do know him, would you send him a, a link to this uh, YouTube and get his reaction, you know? Let him tell you what the reaction was and does he know any of these things that's coming up. And I'm certain that, you know, he's going to find this interesting, if nothing else. So, but I just thought it was a, it'd be an interesting uh, star to uh, 
you know, to do a reading. And like I said, I think this is pretty much my very first star reading. I usually do like missing people and I really, I, I try to focus on that because, you know, if there's something that can come up that maybe, you know, we can think of to keep a light on these people that's missing, I will do that. Um, and, but this was something and I've, I've did these readings with my friends and folks, I got to tell you, it's, it's always just so amazing. You never know. Something always comes up that kind of just, um, you know, jiggles the, the thoughts, you know, just makes the, the memory pat pattern just come alive in people. You can see people's expression too, when they, when you, bring up something on the board um, that they know something. And um, so, but, um, it's, and the tea leaf, I love the tea, re tea leaf reading. Um, like, you know, I saw a video um, not too long ago. I was looking at the tea leaf reading and this lady, a um, and like I said, my friend, uh, Marilyn, she's done this for many years and, she said, yeah, there's stuff that'll come up and you'll start telling the person what it says or what it, what she's seeing and they'll just be like, wow. And this woman was doing a reading, this psychic, um, and I forget who she was, but she was doing a reading for her, for a lady and they did a tea, she did a tea leaf reading and she looked at the tea leaf reading and the psychic said, well, this is going to sound strange, but I see what looks like a plunger and the lady that she was doing the reading to said she just like fell out of her chair she says and and the psychic didn't know nothing about because you know she didn't know nothing nothing about what happened to her husband her husband had died on the commode i'm like oh god so you know I believe in spirits. I believe there's angels and phenomenons all around us. I believe there's things that help try to help guide us in life. And we have to look at the signs, folks. We have to look at them. And you know, if you get a if you get a sign that says, Hey, you need to pay a damn attention, well pay attention, you know? because um, if you see a stop sign and you're driving and you don't stop, you could get hurt or kill somebody or yourself. So Pay attention to the signs, okay? Um, but, folks, I think I'm going to go with call it an evening. I sure preach, appreciate each and every one of you for watching. You all, you guys are awesome. I love your comments. Um, let me know what you see in this uh, reading um, in all this stuff there. And if you know anything about, you know, like some of the things that Justin may, may have experienced. I don't know a lot about him. Other, I know he's a singer and he started out very young. So, and I am working on another one um, that I'm, um, that it's going to be a little bit, but I'm going to bring it out. But, um, and, uh, but I, that, that's what I want to tell you too. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're just, this is your first time tuning into this, uh, I am so sorry <laughs> that you're like, what the hell was this? What did I just watch? But I appreciate you watching. If you got to this point, I appreciate it. But if you will subscribe because, um, you know, it'll let you know that I'm bringing out another crazy ass reading video. So, <laughs> but I enjoy doing this. I get a lot of help from my friend Marilyn. I asked her questions and stuff. And like I said, I'm not a psychic, but I love doing this. I really do. So, well, folks, I hope all of you have a very good evening. And if you have a loved one close by or someone you know, a friend, please give them a hug. Um, tell them you love them. You just never know, folks, from day by day. You never know what's going to happen, you know. So, But uh, thank you so much for watching, and you all be safe. And, well, until next time, folks, this is George, and we'll see you down the road. Y'all be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.